Welcome to another edition of Final Cut Pro 10 in under five minutes. I'm Steve Martin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some simple dialogue replacement on a wide shot. Here, I have a short scene of dialogue between two people. On location, we didn't get a good clean read of Nicole's opening line, and I'd like to replace it with a better read from another take. To reduce the distraction of the music, I'll select it and press V to disable it. Next, I'll skim over the clip, listening for her line, back up a few frames, then press I to mark an endpoint. Then I'll skim to where she finishes speaking, then press O to mark an out point. Now I'll drag the volume bar between the range all the way to the bottom to remove her line entirely. In the browser, I'll locate the Nicole MCU Take One clip and create a range around the same line. No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. To make sure I've enclosed the entire line, I'll press the forward slash key. No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. In the timeline, I'll move the playhead to the end of the silent gap created by the keyframes. To enable an audio only edit, I'll press Shift 3, then press Shift Q to perform a back timed connect edit. I'll play that back. No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. Well, no one just jumps out of a plane. The clip sync looks a few frames off, which is to be expected given that I'm using audio from a completely different take. But because the viewer's eyes are not on Nicole, but on the larger moving subject, in this case the man in the foreground, I can get away with this sleight of hand. Even so, I can improve the effect even further with a few simple steps. I'll skim to where she says, plane, then set a marker. Never jump out of a plane. Plane. P's and B's make excellent sync points because they are phonemes. In other words, they make distinct sounds in our language. Plane. I'll skim over the video looking for the frame where she's closing her lips to make the P sound and park my playhead there. Okay. Selecting the audio take, I'll use my comma or period keys to nudge the clip until the marker aligns with the playhead. Now I can re-enable the music drop it down a few decibels using the control and minus keys so it doesn't compete with the dialogue, and play back. No, that is crazy. I would never jump out of a plane. Well, no one just jumps out of a plane. They have parachutes. So with these simple steps performed on the right footage, you can salvage your dialogue. 